Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the property. Today, we have a hopefully relatively straightforward project. Uh, it's about 16 degrees out right now, and we're on the precipice of the first appreciable snowfall in the Washington, D.C. area in the last couple of years. So with uh, the length of the driveway here, it's really imperative that the plow is in tip-top shape. I probably shouldn't have waited till now to do it, but it's time for me to replace the cutting edge here on the uh, on the plow. This is the original steel one. I went ahead and ordered some uh, UHMD or whatever that acronym is a while ago. It's kind of just been sitting in the shed because it's been so warm. It's been 40 and 50 degrees with, without any risk of snow. So now that we're uh, we got about 48 hours before the storm rolls in, I figure that gives me just enough time to screw up and then fix it. So. I think we should be able to handle this one relatively easily. I think the hardest part is probably gonna be getting these old nuts off. These are probably all original. Mind the dirt, a little dirty and rusty. I'm gonna to try to go with the uh, easiest things first. Uh, hit them with some WD, some penetrating oil, let it sit for a little bit and uh, see if we can attack it with the impact. There's also another side mission going on with this project. This is the first one that I said, um, I know I have to go buy hardware because the UHMD or whatever it is, is uh, thicker than the original steel plate. So I know I have to go to the hardware store and buy new bolts, but I'm gonna try to do this without buying any tools. I think I could do it. Use the things that I already have on hand and accomplish this without spending any more money. So first things first, let's get them, uh, let's get them sprayed down. Oh, do I think I could do this without buying any new tools today? I don't know. Do I really want to is the question, right? We all love new tools. Seems like a perfectly good excuse. Oh, no, 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 this impact that I have, that's not good enough. I have to go and get an air impact. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna follow the reviews if I do go. I might buy the Harbor Freight one. It seems crazy, but the reviews on the earthquake, pretty good, so. So we'll try the WD. I'll have a smoke, let it sit, and, uh, see if it works. If not, we'll try some heat and beat. I've got a torch out here. We'll try to heat them up, see if a little bit of differentiating heating or differential heating helps bust them apart. And if not, uh, we either buy an angle grinder or we'll buy a air impact to run up with the compressor. We might have a little bit more horsepower than this, uh, this DeWalt, or we'll buy them both. Who knows? I'm trying not to, but you know, you can't have no in your heart. All right, smoke breaks over. My other concern I have is actually for you guys, being it's so cold, I have the batteries for the mic inside the coat. So if the audio clips out, sorry. All right, so we got one, two, three, and the fourth one got to come out. The uh, carriage bolts themselves are, are spinning, so I'm going to go down and get a, going to go get a pair of red handles, see if we can't handle that. No pun intended. Oh yeah. Ah ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. Broke it. Perfect. Shout out to DeWalt. And break them all. Nice. Nice. One to go. Beautiful. Yeah, it snapped off, but who cares? All right, so this is the new cutting edge that I'm planning on installing. Half inch thick. I know. I'm pretty sure it's not the right length. It looks about half. 27 inches. Did a little bit of Googling. Kind of put it on however you feel like with the most amount. I think if I go any, that's kind of dumb. So I'm just gonna kind of 
kind of put it in the same spot as the old one. Looks to be about an inch or so. Yeah, just about an inch. So we'll mate this up at an inch, give ourselves three inches of cutting. Just kind of dummy fit this so I have it like a third hand. So I gotta line it up. Three. This one over here. Now the reason why I didn't start on the end over here is that the plow was worn down on this side. So it wouldn't have been three over here. This is all, you can see this is all back on this side. This is all the factory edge and then it's ground down on this side. So if I go three, 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 some sort of math will tell me that uh, that's going to be three. Beautiful. Here, hold that, would you? You know what? I forgot something. I did. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. I know just the thing to help us out in the future. Bow. Never sleaze. We'll throw some of this on so we don't have that nut and bolt issue in the future. I don't know how well this is going to last. I don't know. I've never done this before. So uh, this is just my way of doing it. I anticipate this probably breaking. Uh, I don't know. Or some of these pulling out. If I was smarter, now that I'm here and have a couple minutes to think about it, I would have used this almost like a retaining plate. The old one got longer bolts and used this as a retainer. Nah, if, yeah, so if I was smarter, I would have gotten a, uh, I don't know, these are these were inch and a half. I would have went with two inch and put this uh, backing plate on. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna toss this. I'll keep this for the next time we swap these out. Uh, but we'll run this, see how it goes. It doesn't snow that often here. It's not like I'm doing 100 miles a night on a on a plow. It's a 600 foot driveway. Famous last words though, right? Now you have never sees on your shirt. Now we got this one side in. Don't tell anybody about that nylock acorn nut. Wuhan. They had all the regular nuts, except they ran out at seven and I needed 10. So Wuhan, right? That's the excuse for all bad customer service. Let's keep going with this side. Should be hopefully relatively straightforward. This would be easier and probably safer on something like a, a drill press. But I don't have one. I'm sure Safety Sally's gonna have something to say about, oh, you, know, you shouldn't be drilling like that. You should have it down and clamped and this. Listen, okay, we're out in the bush. Okay, this is field engineering. There's no, there's no civilization. Okay, there's no drill presses out here. We are out in the field and we are doing it. Do what we have to do to get done. There's no civilization around. Just trying to get through my day with the tools that we have. I think it looks pretty good. Looks and performance are two different things, but feels pretty solid. If it cracks and breaks and fall off, you'll know because I'll follow up with a different video in the future saying, now it's time to fix the cutting edge on the snowplow. This was a really, really easy one. Basic hand tools, power tools, uh, nothing crazy. 
Uh, the more tools you have, the easier it's gonna be. You could really do this with really any hand, any hand tools that you have on hand. If you're interested in doing this in your John Deere 54 inch or really any other plow, I'll leave a link down below to the Amazon store where I got this from. Uh, if you go to uh, green and yellow or orange or whoever dealership, uh, they're gonna charge you uh, a lot more than this. Uh, I think I was quoted about $120 for the bolts and the, uh, the cutting edge. I got this on Amazon for about $40 and there's about $10 worth of bolts here. So you save yourself about half as much as you would buying the same stuff from a dealership. So if you have a little bit of a, a just a very little teeny tiny bit of technical knowledge, very little, uh, you can easily handle this yourself and save yourself some money doing it. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video if and when it actually snows and see how it performs. In the meantime, Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and put this plow down before Hydraulic Harry comes along. You're, you're putting too much stress on your system. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, call your mom, tell her you watched, make her watch it. Again, thanks so much for watching. Keep sending them. You're putting too much stress on your hydraulic system. God, you're the stupidest person of all stupid time. God damn, you're so dumb. <laughs>